Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 62 of the Michael Pena Sr. Show. I'm your host, Michael Pena Sr. Listen, Elizabeth Olsen said, I get way too much happiness from good food. And, you know, I feel a lot the same, you know, having a good meal and good food, I mean... It, it does. It makes me happy. I mean, I love it when my wife cooks for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, she does a great job cooking. I love her cooking, and, I, and it, it just makes you feel good to eat right. And, you know, that's what we're going to talk about today again, you know, because it, it, it's it been coming up a lot. And it's difficult for me. You know, I'm talking about the budget again. And the most difficult part for us just seems to be continue to be the food budget. And the reason why I'm bringing it up, because um, I belong to the Dave Ramsey Baby Step community, and um, you can go on that on Facebook, belong to that, and read some of the things that other people are going through. Because I, I just, I love seeing what other people are going through, so I can, you know, figure out, like, how would I help these people? But one of the biggest things that seem to be coming up right now, uh, people are talking about that food budget, and how much you should be spending, really, on your food budget. So, I mean, you know... One of the questions were, how much do you spend a week in groceries? You know, and what I like is people break down. Everybody's different. Everybody's got a different situation. You know, different size family, different size, you know, budget, different amount of money that you make, different foods that you eat. So, I mean, I found it very interesting. And I want you to think about yourself. And I'm going to talk about myself as I read through some of these things. So, like I said... How much do you spend a week in groceries? You should be doing the budget by now. You should be able to see how much you're spending. Um, you know, look back at your old, um, you know, the old months on the Every Dollar app. You should have Every Dollar downloaded by now. Okay. So listen, a lot is talked about the food budget. Um, now here goes the thing. How much do you normally budget for groceries? My husband is a trucker, and he tends to get $140 each week when he's on the road. So $140 just for a husband while he's on the road. At home, there is my son and myself, along with our family's new addition. So now you're talking about a husband and wife, you know, a, a young son, and now a, a baby. So what should your food budget be? I mean, you, you got to figure that out, right? You got to figure out what you're going to spend, what you need. I mean, a baby needs formula. Um, you, you, you can have a separate line, entry line just for the baby. That's what, you know, I suggest to people. And keep that separate from the food budget because the baby needs their own stuff, okay? But, I mean, how much are you spending a week? How much are you, how much are you, you know, what's the size of your family? You know, here's another one. I've been trying to figure that out myself. This was an answer to this. Um, I have just had my teenage son and myself, a kitten, a lab dog. And we usually get food last and therefore have a, never have enough. Never have any. Never have any food. So here's another family. It, her name is Amber. So it must, it's, it, you know, I'm, I'm guessing a divorced mom or a, a single mom. She's with her son, but they also have a cat and a, and a dog. So, you know, again, if you're doing your budget, it gives you the, it allows you to spend. You know how much is coming in. You know how much is going out. You should never go without food. So remember, you know, before you do anything, you know, you got your four walls. All right. So you're talking about, you know, food utilities, transportation, and housing, okay? Those four things need to be paid for first. Food's at the top of the list. If we're not eating, we're not surviving, you know? So, you know, you can't go without food. Now the thing is, you know, what's the quality of the food that you're going to get? Now you've got to really budget that, okay? But you can't go without food. you got to eat. Your family's got to eat. And this, this, this girl, Amber, you know... She's including her kitten and her dog in with her food budget. Personally, I don't do that. I mean, we split, I, we got three dogs. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. But they have their own line item, you know. Uh, 
dog care. I just put dog care in. And, you know, we get a big bag of dog food for them, but I also figure other things in case they need it, a vet appointment or whatever. And I average that over the year. So, I mean, my line item for my dogs is like 100 bucks a month. So that's separate from the food budget, though. I don't include that in the food budget. Um, and I don't think you should either. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. When you're doing your budget, there's different things that you got to separate. And you can see how much you're spending. If you got a baby, you know, we got baby Shay at home. I got a line item for baby Shay. I'm going to spend money on her. You know what I mean? So she's got her own line item. You know, baby, baby Shay. It's okay. It's not included in my food budget. You know, we got our own grocery and food budget. Then we've got a line item for our, for our dogs, you know. So you break things up. And sometimes it makes it easier, too, to see what you're spending and how much you're spending things on. You know, because everybody's line item is going to be different for that pet. So she's got a cat, a kitten, and a dog. I got three dogs. I got to spend more on food for my, four, my three dogs than a kitten and a dog, okay. Um, here's another answer from Tina. I'm trying to figure out what everyone else considers reasonable when people live on, on a healthy diet with high protein. So here's another part of the equation. You know, um, Dave Ramsey always says rice and beans, beans and rice. And, you know, you'll go on, if you go on to the Dave Ramsey baby step community, people post pictures of what they're eating. I'm sorry. I'm not eating half the crap that these people are posting. I can't. People put like hot dogs and, and oodles and noodles or whatever the hell that, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. I'm sorry. All right. I mean, nothing wrong with having a hot dog every once in a while, but having, um, you know, mac and cheese and all, I can't eat that crap. I can't. So I need to eat healthy. I believe you should eat healthy, but you need to be able to budget that. So, you know, it costs money when you start getting into, you know, healthier foods. And I love to buy, I like to have chicken. You know, we go to BJ's, we get a big thing of chicken from BJ's every week. That's usually two meals. All right. So you got to figure that out. What's that going to cost? What's that going to provide us? You know, you've got to plan your meals. I talked about planning your meals in an earlier episode. You've got to do that. You got to sit down. You got the budget is the biggest thing, but the food part of the budget could be the hardest thing because we, we, we want to eat right. We, but we don't want to spend too much money. And it just seems like our food budget continues to expand right now. My son is home from college. So obviously our food budget's a little bit higher, you know, and, um, you know, but we're adjusting, you kind of adjust with that. So figure out your food budget. It's the most important part of it. Figure out what your family size is. Make sure you're making your budget right. Split things up into easier compartmental things. That's what I like. I like to see exactly what I'm spending my money on. And if you're not doing a budget, you, you don't have control of your money. You can't see where it's going. So, you know, at the end of the month, you look and say, oh, okay, what baby step am I on? And you don't want it to be in the red. That means you're over budget. Where's that extra money coming from? You know, and I hate to say it, the last couple of months, mine's been, not a lot, it's been in the red. And I'm like, where's it coming from? I always have a little bit in savings. So that means it's coming from savings instead of me putting more money into savings. So, again, get on every dollar. Make sure you've downloaded that so that you can do your budget. If you've been doing your budget, make sure you're doing it right. You need help. Get in touch with me at coachp2210 at yahoo.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm trying to stay up with things. I still got this stupid concussion going on, so I'm a little off still. But, um, you know, Michael Pena Sr., there's still uh, michaelpenasenior.com. There's some great recipes on there that Meg has done, and we're going to start getting her going again on doing some recipes on there for you. Because the food budget's the hottest thing. But you know what? If you do it right and you eat right, it can be the best thing. Remember the four walls. Don't be like this person that said, we never have any food. I don't want to hear that. Number one thing in the four walls is food. So get your budget straight. Know how much you could spend on food and then move on from there. Okay. So the four walls, once again, food, utilities, transportation, housing. Take care of that first. And then when you move on from there. Okay. So again, I'm living my passion one day at a time. I want to win. I want to help you win. Let's eat together. <laughs>